so much. We are going to do just a short uh, change of pace. Um, anybody here like poetry? You know you do, because education matters and arts matter. So if uh, Mara Ahmed would be willing to come and read some poetry. Um, and I just want to shout out to our um, ASL interpreters. Thank you so much. Uh, they came through on incredibly short notice. And we're all grateful. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, everyone. Um, as you all know, this um, tax scam uh, that we're talking about today is going to create more inequities in our society. It's going to exacerbate the inequity, injustice, and violence that already exists in our country. And um, I'm working on a film about racism in America right now, and as I collect and archive <clears throat> stories of racism and how they impact people and how that pain and suffering and hurt accumulates in people's bodies and the effects that it has on them. Um, I am also struggling with the question of what a world without racism would look like. What a world that's more gentle and more equal would look like. And so I'd like to read um, a poem for you. It's called Making Peace, and it's by Denise Levertov. A voice from the dark called out. The poets must give us imagination of peace to oust the intense, familiar imagination of disaster. Peace, not only the absence of war. But peace, like a poem, is not there ahead of itself, can't be imagined before it is made, can't be known except in the words of its making, grammar of justice, syntax of mutual aid. A feeling towards it, dimly sensing a rhythm, is all we have until we begin to utter it, its metaphors, learning them as we speak. A line of peace might appear if we restructured the sentence our lives are making, revoked its reaffirmation of profit and power, questioned our needs, allowed long pauses. A cadence of peace might balance its weight on that different fulcrum, peace a presence an energy field more intense than war. Might pulse then, stanza by stanza, into the world. Each act of living, one of its words, each word a vibration of light, facets of the forming crystal. Thank you.